Hello everyone. Good to see you. All right, so let's get started and talk about Ichimoku and my own strategy too today. All right, so today is the 22nd of uh, June 2020 on Monday. So new week has been started and let's see. So I will talk about the uh, the candlestick patterns today. Candlestick patterns today. So every Monday is right. Basically, I do the lives every day and today is a Monday. So every Monday I run the Forex Tester 4 and talk about some uh, specific topic. And today's topic is going to be about the candlestick patterns. And I will focus on the my favorite candlestick pattern today because I don't think I will be introducing all the patterns because there are so many. But there are basically, you know, um, like a basic important candlestick patterns. And my favorite ones, right, that will be uh, showing it to you uh, today by running Forex Tester 4. And also, um, I will, if there's a time, I will uh, introduce about this candlestick by looking at the real chart later on. So if you like today's live topic already, please press a good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives every day. Okay, so just quick announcement today before starting, but uh, today's announcement is the live uh, schedule change. So um, usually I do these lives every day uh, from um, 11 p.m. GST but it will be changed to 6 p.m. GST from 29th of June 2020. So in UTC in summertime it will be the change from 2 p.m. to 9 a.m. UTC and the reason is because of my health condition right because this is you know too late for me at night in Japan time and I thought I would be going to Dubai right moving to Dubai anytime soon but due to coronavirus uh, there are still some, uh, you know, delays on the issuing the visa. So that's why I decided to change the schedule from 11 p.m. to um, 6 p.m. in GST, so that the, uh, you can hopefully keep joining my lives in the future. And if you can't join, then you can always watch the archive, so that the um, you can still learn from my everyday lives and videos. Right, that's one. And the second one is my about my second channel. So I have the second channel, and uh, it is actually uh, right here. Hold on, yeah, it's right here. This is my second channel, and this is for my private talks, right? So I don't really talk about the forex, but this is my like a personal private talks. So today I went to uh, get a new violin case, so that's recorded here. And after this public live, there will be a uh, another live on this second channel. So I will talk about my second channel and what I have been doing these days, things like that. What I have been thinking about these channels and also about my own lives. So if you have time, you can uh, join this one. The link is on the below description. So you can click on that one after this live and you can always join on this second channel. So and now that the second channel subscriber became over 1000 on this one, so hopefully I will do the live from mobile from outside of my home uh, so that I can show you around how Tokyo looks like and where I usually go so that we can directly connect with you outside of uh, home on this second channel. So that was a quick announcement today. So and before starting anything, right, uh, just a disclaimer, all these contents are based on my own experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do at your own risks, okay? Okay, so let's get started. Let's see who's here first, all right? We got lots of people joining here today, so thank you. Thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you, good to see you. All right, so I can't call everybody's name because there are so many, but uh, I really appreciate your participation as always. And I watch the archive and I read through your comments I make sure to read your comments and also the comments below too on the archive. So, and I really appreciate your participation as always. Just to let you know, right? Just to let you know that I'm watching everybody's comments. Okay, so with that being said, let's get started to the topic now. So here is the windows 
and I will run the Windows and I will launch the uh, the Flex Tester 4. So let's see. Hold on. Let me just put this one up here. And uh, yeah, there we go. So that I can see both screens now. <clears throat> and Forex Tester 4 is actually my favorite tool. So um, I use this. I use this tool uh, whenever the market is slow, like today, or uh, over the weekends. I run this one to uh, to check my own strategies and or to recheck my own strategies too. So uh, yeah, if you're interested, this is there is a referral link on the below description too. So you can click on that one and you can uh, try this uh, Forex Tester 4. So, so on the one right here, it shows uh, GBPUSD, one hour chart, and this is a back testing, right? So this is not the real chart, but this is the chart on uh, 2018 uh, April. So let's do this. Um, so right now I just pick up this one randomly and uh, this is the uh, April 11th at the 14 UTC time zone in 2018. So make sure that this is not the current uh, market as of now. And this is the uh, GBP USD one hour chart. So today I will just pick up one time frame just not, not to confuse you and on the next live or next Forex test se session, I will uh, place the two different time frames. But today, let me just stick with one time frame and talk about these candlestick patterns. So I will talk about the pin bar and doji candlestick today, right? So as you keep watching the market, I mean on this uh, demonstration, um, you can. Um, see how I usually look at the market and with what kind of uh, candlestick formations I usually focus on whenever I look at the market. All right. All right. Good to see you, everyone. Good to see you. All right. Yeah, so I'm using priorals. Uh, what I call, uh, yeah, there is a, uh, so yeah, this is a Mac book. Pro, but I installed the Windows over the Mac, and that's why and I run the Windows over the Mac, and I installed I installed this uh, Forex Tester 4 over the Windows and running it right now. Okay, so let me review about the candlestick patterns and the ones especially that I that it's my favorite. So I have I've actually you know put some of I yeah some of the uh, information from Wikipedia and maybe you know about uh, this name about him uh, Homa Muneshima right so he is actually the the father of uh, candlestick patterns in Japan so he was a uh, trader rice he was trading rice and while he was trading rice every day he found a pattern right in terms of now start price, close price, and highest price and lowest price on particular days. So, and he marked all these four informations every day, and that's how how he came up with this candlestick. So, yeah, he's the one who created the candlestick, and back in this uh, 1724 between 1724 to 1803, right? He was creating those uh, candlestick patterns. So, um, and basically, right, he introduced many, many patterns. But today, I will introduce some of the uh, very well known or uh, very uh, familiar, famous candlestick patterns, which are the, uh, how do you say, like uh, the engulfing and also the doji candlestick patterns. So, this is called Sakata Goho in Japanese. And uh, Sakata Goho is actually uh, the very famous candlestick patterns that you can still apply uh, nowadays. And if you know more about these candlestick patterns, I have the video 
on my first channel. If you come to my first channel and click on this playlist, if you haven't watched that yet, uh, there is a price action uh, trading uh, strategy in uh, last November. There is a playlist, so you can click on this one and you see the series of my uh, lesson about the uh, price action series. So you can uh, take a look at this one after this live and you can uh, still learn from my past videos. Okay, so yeah, so here is basic uh, candlestick pattern about uh, introduced by Sakata Goho, right? Created by this uh, Homma. And um, so I will talk about these uh, patterns. Hold on. So, yeah, I will talk about this one, what we call um, Sanzan. Sorry, hold on. Oh, I have to launch the uh, drawing tool. All right, there you go. Okay, so I will talk about this one, Sanzan. Oh, sorry, Sansen. This is called uh, Sansen in Japanese. But this is basically the uh, um, like a doji candlestick that's appearing on the bottom of bottom of the market, right? The doji candlestick appearing at the bottom of the market. This is called um, Sansen in Japanese. And also, I will talk about the engulfing formations. And also, I will talk about the uh, some of that candlestick pattern that will be the reversal. So this one, and also engulfing, right? Engulfing patterns, right? Actually, there are lots of series of like engulfing patterns in in, uh, in this original teachings. But I will mainly talk about the doji candlestick and also the engulfing. So these are all in Japanese, but I think you must be able to find it in English too. I just show it to you in Japanese because uh, you know I thought it might be interesting to you, right? To uh, to see how uh, these candlesticks are introduced in some of the website in Japanese. <laughs> yeah, because um, I've seen lots of uh, explanations in English, right? Of course, but um, I thought it it would be nicer to uh, introduce these in Japanese because I am a Japanese frog trader and these are actually originally created in Japan so yeah I will talk about some of these patterns that might be the reversal today so let's get started so let's go to the Frex tester 4 okay so once again here is a uh, one hour chart of GBPUSD in 2018 in April, so let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see the uh, candlestick formation now. So I will run the tester one by one. I will uh, proceed the candles one by one so that the uh, you can capture exactly where these uh, you know engulfing or doji candles are happening in the market. So let's see. Hold on, let me run it here. Okay, so let me just run this one by one. Right, so uh, right now, if you look at the Ichimoku King Koto, right, first of all, uh, it is uptrend, right? Uh, the Kumo is moving up, and currently, the Kijun Sen, the green one is the Kijun Sen on my setting, but the Kijun Sen is flat, so in the midterm, this is ranging but in long term we know that this is the uptrend right because the price is above the Kumo and also price is still above the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen too and also the Chikou Span is above the candlestick so this is basically the bullish trend still and if you look at the price action right the lows are getting higher and the highs are getting higher too so in this case what we should do is that we look for the buy chance right we never look for the sell chance in this particular condition right i would only look for the buy chance so where to buy is a key right where to buy is the question that we have to ask ourselves and to do that right to capture the trading edges today's theme is the candlestick patterns 
So I will keep looking at the market and try to capture where the engulfing patterns will be happening and also the doji candlestick will be happening in the market. So let me just run uh, this one over uh, one by one so that the, uh, you know, we can see when exactly we see the doji candlesticks. So now let me just run it a little bit more. So okay, so there are so okay, so here we see there is a pin bar. So this this candlestick formation is called pin bar. So when you see this one, first of all, this might be the reversal, right? So this candlestick pattern shows that the uh, there is more sell pressures than buy pressures. So we can expect that the price might be reversing to downwards this way. So this might be the double top, and after this candlestick right uh, this might be going down but in fact now the price is going up upwards right so we know that this is still uptrend so and especially if i look for these like uh, pin bars right uh, the wick pointing upwards and the body is tiny um, this should be appearing at the top of the market like this right like i showed it to you on this one on this on these chat examples uh, these should be appearing at the bottom of the market or at the top of the market, right? Um, but right now, if you look at it, this one, this is kind of happening happening in the downtrend, right? Within the downtrend, and when you see this one within the downtrend, first of all, right, this might not gonna be very important. Uh, it can break upwards easily. So, yeah, I would look for this one at the top of the range. I mean, at the top of the market recent high so in this case right this is a typical case that it can be a fake uh fake uh pin bar and the market can easily break it upwards so we have to be careful um where it's appearing is more important than the shape itself right so uh every time you look for these pin bars right these should be appearing on the top like this kind of uh, pin bar should be appearing at the top, and uh, this, right, uh, this one, this doji candlestick, right, should be appearing at the bottom of the range or bottom of the market. Because they do appear in any cases, right? But basically, we have to look for these at the top or the bottom of the market. But now, once again, this is happen happening in the middle of the market while it's downtrending right in the short term so we cannot really trust this one in this case so this was actually the great example that can be a fake doji candlestick so let me move on a little bit more so I will be looking for some kind of uh, another doji candlestick okay so there is another doji candlestick happening here right basically you see the wick pointing up and downwards and the body is tiny right there is a tiny body so we can call this still a doji candle right doji means at the same time in japanese yeah more precisely do is like the same right and ji means the thing so happening at the same time or happening at the same thing so so that means that the, the start price and the curve price close price can be happening at the same time and that will be the doji candle and especially when you see the wick pointing up and downwards this is the typical doji candlestick too so we see doji candlestick many times like this one is the doji candlestick and we see like a tiny doji candlestick right here too like these were doji candlesticks and this one too is the doji candlestick so when you see these doji candlestick patterns then basically you draw the lines Right, basically you draw, you draw the lines right, at the top and the bottom of this doji and you look for the breakout. So in this case it's breaking downwards, right? But because this is against the trend, uh, we don't want to sell, right? We expect the price to be breaking upwards this way and wait for the breakout to the upside, right? Because it has been uptrending so now the price is breaking downwards here so this might become fake 
right? It might go upwards this way. But if the price breaks the Kumo downwards, then it might be persistent downtrend. So by looking at this doji candlestick breakout to the downwards, right, there might be some potential that the price might be trending downwards. And in that case, right, um, logically speaking, this, this was the double top as a result, and the price has been going down this way. Or this was the uh, head and shoulders pattern. Right in, in a bigger time frame, and actually this was the reversal to the downwards. <clears throat> so when you capture the reversal, right, there are many signals happening. Not only these, um, just one single like uh, signals like a double top or triple top or like a head and shoulders, but you have to look at these candlestick patterns too, one by one, as time goes on. So this breakout was significant because. It says that the uh, this might be the potential reversal also. So if I start to see the price being breaking the Kumo downwards, then that may, might be the potential downwards afterwards. So once again, right, when you look at this doji candlestick, I recommend you to draw these lines right at the lowest price and the highest price of the weak point in downwards upwards, and we just wait for the breakout. Either direction, either direction. And we just follow that trend. Okay. So let me just run it a little bit more. Okay, now we see that there was kind of a support by the single span B here, and now the price is bouncing upwards now. Okay, now it's going up. Okay, breaking further upwards. So this is the continuous uptrend. So as a result, this became a fake, and now it's going up. But um, we don't want to place a buy yet, right? Um, I don't still see the continuous uptrend. I mean, there was a breakout of this a recent high, but if you look at the Ichimoku cloud, right, Kumo here. Let me zoom out. Now, the Kumo is very thin. So, yeah. We want more thicker Kumo to be confident to its uh, buying chance. So now Kumo is too thin, so the price might be retracing backwards, right, to this way. So I would wait for the Kumo to be developed more, thicker, and look for the buy chance by looking at the candlestick patterns this time. So let me just keep running a bit more. Let me zoom in. All right, and uh, let me just go one by one and see if we see any candlestick formations. Okay, so there is a doji candlestick, right? So there is a doji candlestick, but not only that, these are engulfing patterns, you see? So engulfing patterns is that the, uh, basically there are two patterns for engulfings. One is that the previous candle was engulfed by the next candlestick. Right, so if I zoom in more, then this is the previous one. So let's call this one as a one, first one, and this one was a second one. So now we see that the first one is engulfed by the second one, right? So this is called um, tsutsumi ashi, tsutsumi, tsutsumi candlestick pattern in Japanese, right? And so this is one of the kinds, right? And the other one is the opposite way, right? The the previous candle, I mean, sorry, the the next candle, the future candle is engulfed by the previous one. And this is called harami candlestick in Japanese. So there are two kinds, right? So it's either the candlesticks engulfed by the future candle or the previous candle. So this is called tsutsumi. And this is called the harami candlestick, engulfing both engulfing, but uh, engulfed by the future candle or the previous candle is the only difference. But either way, when you when you see these kind of harami candlestick, then uh, you can look for the breakout basically. Right, you, you look for the breakout. 
So in that sense, right, uh, maybe you've noticed already, but uh, the previous one was also the Harami candlestick, right? The previous one is kind of engulfing the next candlestick here. And it's been engulfing the future candlesticks too. This was a, you know, slight breakout, but we can still see that this is still engulfing, right? The close price is still engulfed by the previous highest and lowest. So it's been engulfed by this candlestick. So in this case, we can either wait for the breakout of this whole, you know, candlestick upwards, or if we look at the smaller time frame, we can, there is another engulfing pattern right here. So we can wait for the breakout to the upwards this one, right? The reason why I say expect the breakout upwards is that because the Kumo is trending upwards in this case, right? The Kumo was trending upwards, as you can see it here, right? The Kumo is developing upwards and also um, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen breakout is happening gold crossing right now too. So we can expect that the price will break upwards instead of downwards. If it breaks it downwards, then we just, you know, see it off, right? We, we don't want to take sell. But if it breaks up upwards, then I would take the buy. That's the difference. Okay, that's the difference. So let's see if the market will be developed from here. So let me just move one by one. So uh, yeah, and also and also um, one more thing is that these are the doji candlesticks, right? These are the doji candlesticks, and when you look at when you see these doji candlesticks, basically, again, you wait for the breakout to either up, up or downwards. So this is not like a pin bar, right? These are not the pin bar, but this is more towards the doji candlestick, right? Uh, right, uh, where the close price and the start price, close price is at about the same price level and the wicks pointing up and downwards. So in this case, the price can break downwards or it can break upwards either way. If it looks like this, then we can expect the price will break upwards. Or if you see um, like, a, if you see it, hold on. Yeah, if you see it like a, this, this kind of uh, pin bar, the weak point in upwards, then we can expect that the market might reverse to the downwards. But you know, if you if you, when you look at these candlesticks, these are not like a pin bars like this, but these are like uh, the doji candlesticks. These are the doji candlesticks, and uh, these are engulfed by the previous candles. So, I expect the price to break upwards this way and take buy accordingly by looking at the smaller time frames right so let me just move on a little bit more okay so there is a breakout there is a slight breakout to the uppers so in this case i will take a buy but before that let me check out the kumo formation again okay the kumo is still horizontal Right, and also Kijun Sen horizontal, Tenkan Sen horizontal too. But because I start to see the breakout of this, of these uh, consecutive Doji candlestick and Halami candlestick uh, formations, I will take a buy because this is uptrending right now. Right, the price is being above the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and the Kumo too. So I can expect the price will break upwards this way. Does that make sense, everyone? Let me check out some of your comments here. All right. Yeah, so doji means uh, at the same time in Japanese. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Steve, you already answered it. Yeah, thank you for the support. <laughs> yeah. I love doji candlestick and I love pin bars. <coughs> Graverstone and Dragonfly, okay, okay, yeah, so these are the words. So um, in Japanese we say, yeah, like the same thing, yeah, like grave, uh, gravestone and a dragonfly, yeah.
and also sometimes we call it um, this is the how do you say like a morning star right this is a morning star and this is the uh, evening star in Japanese so we can call it that way too but if it looks like this then this can be the you know the name will be different but yeah the point is that the uh, the point is that if you if you see this kind of like a doji candle at the low price of the range or at the highest price of the range or you know when it's trending upward the downwards if you see for example like at the market is has been going up this way and if you see this support signal we can expect that the price will go up or this way right and and also if it if it goes backwards this way too if the price if the market starts to go down this way and when you start to see this uh, doji candle at the bottom of this uh, market this might be a reversal and it can go upwards this way too so either way this means that there is a strong support in the lower level here and that's what it shows here basically and in contrast this one if the price were going up and when you see this one there might be a support uh, sorry the resistance here there might be a resistance and the price might go downwards or when you start to see the price going downwards and when the market consolidates for a while and when you see this one there might be the potential downward downtrend from here continuous downtrend from here so you can expect the breakout of the recent low of this one and place a sell here practically right so in this case you look for the breakout and you take a buy <clears throat> either way this means that there is a strong support or resistance at the lowest price or the highest price and we can expect the continuous up or down trends does that make sense everyone <coughs> So yeah, it's a halami or tsutsumi, and these are explained on my playlist here, price action. So you can check these uh, videos, and you can uh, find my uh, find some uh, explanations here too. So yeah, in that sense, uh, let me explain this one right let me come back to this chart and now you see that there are a couple of doji candlesticks and also there these are engulfings right the previous candle is engulfed by the future candle and also the future candles are engulfed by the previous candle which is this one so i expect the price to break it downwards uh, sorry upwards sorry i expect the price to break upwards and I look for the buy chance after the breakout. All right, and if it breaks it downwards, then I won't take a sell. Right, I won't take a sell because overall this has been uptrend. Right, overall it has been uptrend. So this might be the fake breakout. So I don't want to pick place a sell. But if it breaks up up upwards, then I will look for the buy chance. All right. So um, let me keep running a little bit more and see how the turn is going to be, right? It might be going downwards, right? So we'll see. Okay, so now there is a breakout, right? There is a breakout of the recent high. I mean, this uh, doji candlestick upwards. So we can take a buy. All right, this is one chart. So if you see the close price on this level, you can still take a buy too and expect that price will be breaking the next high for the uppers which is also the engulfing pattern that we can find in the past right uh, this candlestick has been engulfing all these candles right the highest price lowest price has been engulfing all these candles so this is called halami candlesticks pattern and we can expect the price will break Approach this way.
Okay. So let me keep running a little bit more. Okay, now it's ranging. Okay, now there's a breakout, right? There is a breakout to the upside. So when you were taking buys, right, at these levels, you should be running some profit, right? Or if you place a buy at the breakout of this Harami candlestick formation, you can still, you know, run profit this way. And also, make sure to look at the Ichimoku Kinko Kyo too, right? Make sure that the Kumo is moving up and also Kijun Sen moving up too. So let me zoom out a little bit here. And you see that the Kumo is moving up, right? The um, Senko Span B moving up, Senko Span A moving up, and Kijun Sen moving up too. And that's because, right, the, there was a breakout. Right? There was a breakout of the recent high uppers. And that's why these lines are basically moving upwards. But um, because we saw the Harami, right, engulfing pattern, right here, the breakout to the upside was quite strong in this case because there were lots of uh, pending orders here, right? There are stop losses for the sellers within the range, within the range between here and here. There were lots of sellers and buyers who were fighting, but eventually the buyers won the game. And that's why, uh, you know, there are lots of traders who are stopped out in this area, and that's also making this market to be trending upwards this way. And so, and that's why these uh, candle patterns are very important, right? Very important. So, and this is basically how I look at the market by looking at the candlestick patterns in terms of the doji candlestick and um, engulfing patterns. Because when it breaks out, it can be very strong so, so that it can be time efficient, right? And especially, if you capture the trend, right? If you follow the trend, the major trend, it can be more powerful and you can run profit even more. So logically speaking, this is a very uh, good technique, right? To, uh, to keep running some profit over time. So now that the price is breaking up, so I will uh, stop, uh, I will put the price, uh, stop loss to break even and just keep watching the market until there is the end of the uptrend in this case. Yeah, so uh, today's lesson is, uh, you know, to, to make a long story short, basically when you look, look for these uh, gravestones, right, or the morning stars, or, uh, you know, however you call it, right, when you see these, right, look for these patterns to be appearing at the top or the bottom of the market or the range. So once again, if the price was or going down this way, when you see the downtrend and when you happen to see this one, then you can expect the price will be breaking up or this way, right? You wait for the breakout when you see this pattern, then you wait for the breakout to the up parts and you look for the buy chance here so that it can be a reverse signal to the upside. That's for the reversal signal, right? By looking at this candlestick formation. Or uh, there's another case, right? Uh, if let's say if there was a continuous uptrend and when you start to see the range, right? When you start to see the range, basically you look for the breakout to the uppers, which I showed it to you on the Forex Sector 4. So when you happen to see this one, and also when you happen to see the engulfing patterns at the same time, then also you can expect the price to break upwards this way, right? Logically speaking. So we can look for the buy chance. And also if you use the Ichimoku Kin Kohyo, the Kumo should be trending upwards this way. And also make sure that the Kijun Sen will move upwards this way too, after the breakout. Usually, the Kijun Sen and Senko Span A, B are all pointing upwards. And also, you have to look at the thickness of the Kumo, right? Make sure that it's thick enough 
for its uh, continuous uptrend anyways. But um, by just looking at these kind of patterns, you can uh, you know, capture the reversal or the continuous uptrend signals. And that's why I prefer to use candlesticks than Heikin Ashi or Renko Ashi. Because Heikin Ashi, Renko Ashi doesn't behave like this. Only candlestick patterns, you can capture these you know, informations because candlestick patterns, right, candlesticks take start price, close price, highest price, and lowest price. These four informations are very important. And the opposite way is actually this one. Okay. And actually these are the engulfing patterns, right? Engulfing patterns are like this. And this is called Harami. Right? The previous candle is engulfing the future candles. This is called Harami. And the Tsutsumi is the opposite way, right? The previous candle. I mean, the, the next candle is engulfing the previous candles. This is called tsutsumi in Japanese. But basically, right, we just wait for the breakout, either up or downwards, basically. Yeah, and especially the difference is that the uh, when you start to see halami candles, you can expect the price might be into the range for some more time. Like uh, like you saw it on the Frex test so for today, when you start to see the Halami candlestick, then you can uh, expect that the price might be in, in the range right, for some more time. But when you start to see the Tsutsumi candle, then the price might break downwards or upwards anytime soon. And we just follow that you know, breakout direction according to the major trend direction. Okay, so just as a recap, right, once again, uh, on this area, you saw that there was a Tsutsumi candlestick. On this one, there was a Tsutsumi, right? The previous candle was engulfed by the next candle on this one. And also, these were whole time Harami candles, right? Harami pattern. Because the previous candle, I mean, this one was engulfing the future candles whole time so when it breaks out upwards this can be very strong because it was uptrend in the long run but if it breaks it downwards then it might become a reversal downtrend or it might go upwards to this way too so you don't want to take a sell right once again you don't want to take a sell this one because uh, it's against the trend basically we expect the price to break upwards and look for the buy chance and that's the main point. All right. So finally, let's take a look at some of the current market. All right. So here is a chart right now. And um, I saw these kind of patterns somewhere. Uh, I think it was a GBP, JPY. And um, yeah, so today, um, as far as I see the market, uh, GBP pairs are still, uh, you know, downtrending, right? GBP USD downtrending four, and GBP JPY also downtrending four. So here is the GBP JPY now, and it's been downtrending, right? Kumo's moving down, Kijun Sen moving down too. So this is downtrend still. And if you look at like the uh, fifteen or five, if you look at the five. Or um, hold on. So in four, first of all, it was a downtrend. And uh, oh yeah, so uh, there are a couple of candlestick, interesting candlestick patterns here too. So right now in four, what you can see is that there is a uh, tsutsumi candle, right? So the oh, so actually this is a harami. Sorry, this is a harami. The previous candle is engulfing the future candle right now in four hour chart right this previous one is engulfing the future candle now right so looks like this this is breaking upwards but we don't want to take a buy at the breakout because overall has been downtrend 
So there, this might be a fake and it might go downwards from here too. So that's one thing that's very important. And um, yeah, and also let's take a look at the daily. Oh yeah, in the daily chart, I, start, I see that there is another almost like engulfing happening here too. Like uh, the current candlestick is engulfing the previous one, right? So if the close price of today's candlestick right here, right, uh, end up with uh, above the recent high here, then uh, it can be the reversal and it might go upwards from here too. That's one thing that we can expect from uh, from this candlestick pattern. So we see many examples like this, basically. So um, yeah, if you look at this one on chart, right, um, there are two doji candlestick appearing at the at the lower part of the market. Just we saw it right on the Forex Testa four, right? There were two doji candlestick happening at the lowest price of the range. I mean, uh, uh, while it's downtrending. So these were becoming the reversal signal and the price is now going upwards this way. However, I won't place a buy at the breakout because over time, this is downtrend. And when, when, I, when I see these two doji candlesticks, right, I would never know if the price will keep going upwards this way. So I will look for the buy chance in this case. Yeah, in the, w when I happen to see these two candles, then I will only expect the price to break downwards and look for the sell chance. Because in a bigger time frame, this is just a retracement. So the price might be resisted by the Kumo and it might go downwards from here too. So, you know, I am a trend follower and that's why my strategy is like this but um, whole time the market has been downtrending right so uh, this is a retracement and I don't want to place a buy at the retracement because still until the price breaks the recent high upwards this way this is still the downtrend to me right in a short term this is uptrend but when you see this as a whole right this is still the downtrend so I still look for the sell chance. So let's say, right? Let's say there might be a um, another like a engulfing patterns like here, or another like a pin bar appearing like this. Then I will look for the sell chance at the reversal because these are the reversal signals. And so if if they break out downwards, then I will look for the sell potentially. So that my stop loss can be very tight, but I still follow the major trend. But if the price keeps going upwards this way and breaks the recent high really upwards this way, then I would I wouldn't look for the sell chance anymore. But I will let the time go by until I see the next uh, decent trend. So and now I still see that in four hour chart this is still downtrending because the Kumo is moving down and the Kijun Sen is also moving down, I will still look for the sell chance in smaller time frames. Okay. All right, so yeah, I love candlestick patterns. I mean, uh, these are very powerful and uh, these are very um, effective when you, whenever you look at the market and also, if you take these candlestick patterns along with the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, right, the probability will be much higher and you can uh, capture the trading edges where you can run the profit more. So I will talk about these things, you know, in my future lives. So, uh, you know, I, I don't, I, I'm not really expecting that I can talk about everything on this one single life. So I will keep talking about these things. And also, like I said before, uh, you can uh, come to my playlist, my channel playlist, there is a price action theories. So you can click on this one and you can still enjoy how I explain about these, you know, a kind of price action patterns. So yeah, yeah, candlesticks are very, very powerful 
when you when you have a sense of it, uh, it's it's becoming very powerful. So, um, yeah, let's see. Looks like I've got uh, five more minutes to go. So let me talk about uh, some of another examples. So yeah, if you notice it, right? Um, if you notice these things, then you know which one, which candlestick pattern will be important, which one is not really important, right? So um, yeah, for example, like these will be, these were actually the engulfing too, right? So the previous one, hold on, this one, the previous one, at the top was the highest price and the lowest price was engulfing the future candles, right? This is called halami candlestick, halami engulfing pattern. The previous candle is engulfing the future candles. So we can look for the breakout, right? In this case, it was a reversal. It became a reversal trend. So the market has been going downwards. But if I were watching the market real time, I wouldn't place a sell because it might become fake and it might go up or this way. So when I start to see the next engulfing, for example, on this one, the next um, halami candle, then I can really see that from here, I see that the start of the downtrend from here. Yeah, but um, if I see the breakout on the first one, I still expect that this might be a fake and it might go up or this way. But when I see the next engulfing, next halam candlestick right here, then I can be more confident that this this become this is becoming like a reversal, and it can be going downwards from here. But because before it was uptrend, so I only expect the price will break the recent high upwards, logically speaking. So. Yeah, and this is how you can apply these candlestick patterns into uh, real tradings. And you see many more engulfing patterns, right? Uh, on these areas, there were some halami, small like halami patterns too. So it's breaking downwards again. So this is now, you know, further confirmation for its downtrend. So you can still look for the sell chance at the breakout. And yeah. So, yeah, and also in the middle of the downtrend, sometimes you see these doji candles. This one is a doji, and also there was another doji candles like this. So, when you, whenever you see the doji candles, especially when you see these in the bigger time frames, you can draw these lines, right? The lines at the highest price, lowest price of the doji, and you can expect a breakout, right? At the highest price, lowest price, of doji candlestick and you can expect a breakout to either up or downwards. And basically, you follow the trend. You follow the major trend breakout direction and you should be fine based on my own experience. And when it's ranging, but when it's ranging and when you see the doji, right? When you see the doji like this, it can go either up or downwards. So we have to wait for the breakout and right on the trend afterwards. So uh, the great example would be, for example, in the daily chart, right? Uh, I think, um, let's see. Oh yeah, there is a doji. Uh, let me zoom in here and um, yeah, for example, like this one, right? This is a doji candle. Well, actually these are the doji candlestick, but in this case, I wouldn't look for the buy or sell Right. In this case, I will just follow the breakout direction because whole time it was in the range, right? The Kumo was flat and the Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen were moving up and downwards. So these were the Doji candlestick within the middle of the range. So in this case, I expect the price will break either up or downwards. And I, even, I never know which way the price can break out. So basically, I just wait for the breakout direction and I just follow the trend or I just follow, um, I, I will just wait until the next trend will come in this particular time frame. So when you, so for, yeah, so when you see these doji candles uh, in the middle of the range, 
this might become fake so you don't want to trade at the breakouts right basically you wait for the breakout of more bigger time frame and that will be better usually but when you see dojis while it's on downtrend right and this might if it breaks it downwards then that will be more reliable and it can persist to downwards in this case but so you don't want to look for the dojis within the range but you want to look for dojis while it's in downwards or upwards trends okay so i hope you get the idea for now so all right so let's see um i guess i will end the live anytime soon and switch to my second channel live so if you have a still have time you can always join that all right so um let's see so yeah so every day i talk about different topics so tomorrow on tuesday will be about ichimoku basic lecture and i will talk about chikou span again tomorrow so tomorrow once again the live start will be at 11 p.m jst so this week will be 11 p.m but from next week it's going to be two um it's going to be 6 p.m jst so if you can join on tomorrow's live on ichimoku basic lecture i will see you there or i will see you on my second channel live after this public live right and the link is below description so you can click on that one and you can wait for me on that second channel live all right so everyone you have a uh, great week trading week this week i hope you uh your success on your trace and stay healthy stay gold bye for now everyone Matane, thank you.